guys. Once again, this is Dove. And in uh, this video, I'm going to share once again another uh, uh, important learning tools that we can use in our teaching. So this tool is called the Scilab. Scilab is an open source technology that we can uh, freely download from the internet. So as an open source, this is uh, free of cost and we can easily install in our laptop. So sa video ng ito, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano natin install ang Scilab uh, gamit ang ating Windows operating system. In my case, I'm using Windows 10. Okay, so ano ba tong Scilab? Sabi nga kanina, Scilab is isang uh, tools kung saan pwede natin gamitin ito ng libre kung ikaw ay nagtuturo ng mathematics engineering uh, mathematics, advanced engineering mathematics. Napaka important, uh, napaka useful, napaka gamit ng open source uh, technology na to. So, ano ba yung Scilab? Ang Scilab, ito yung this is the contraction of scientific laboratory. In short, uh, pinaikli lang nila na, na, ng scientific lab. Ito, this is an alternative open source software as compared to MATLAB na may bayad. So, yung capabilities ng Scilab is parang MATLAB din. The only difference is ito libre nga, and, but both MATLAB and Scilab can be used as numerical computing software. It is an interpreted programming environment and it is used by any scientific and engineering applications. Ano ba yung mga applications na pwede nating gawin dito sa Scilab bilang isang teacher's engineering or mathematics? These are Scilab applications. Ano-ano yung mga pwede nating gawin dito sa Scilab na to? So bilang teacher, Ang Scilab na ito, pwede natin gamitin ito as programmable scientific calculator. Kung ano man yung nagagawa natin sa ating scientific calculator or kung sometimes students cannot afford to buy a very expensive calculator. So, if they have laptop or even uh, mobile, pwede na nilang i-download yung Scilab and then magagamit na nila yun as a programmable scientific calculator. Especially kung meron silang research and mga assignments sa mga higher mathematics. Ginagamit din ito sa engineering for digital signal processing ito sa mga ECE na nagtitake ng research nila in digital signal processing. Uh, Scilab is very useful. Image enhancement also is another application of uh, Scilab and IoT system integration. So alam naman natin sa technology ngayon, very uh, popular na yung Internet of Things or IoT, both in uh, engineering and IT courses. And of course, ang Scilab is also useful in numerical optimization, like yung approximation, numerical approximation using numerical methods and this can also be useful in sa Taylor series and Maclaurin series approximations. Maipapakita nyo sa estudyante kung habang nagiging complex yung formula, naipapakita nyo na yung real, real, uh, real value using this Scilab. Halimbawa, meron kang uh, pinapakitang function and then as you compute the function habang nagiging complex siya, nagiging bumabalik sa original na function. Mapapakita mo rito sa Scilab. And of course, statistical analysis. Gamit na gamit din to sa uh, statistics because Scilab has a lot of toolboxes na pwede mong i-download 
and in, in applying sa data analysis sa statistic subjects. Very useful. And then dynamic system modeling. So one of the important application actually of Scilab is, and MATLAB is the modeling. Pwede ka kasing mag-simulate dito ha, mag ginagawa mo yung research mo. Na, nabuo mo na yung uh, nabuo mo na yung iyong uh, I mean, meron ka ng code gusto mong simulate you can use Scilab before you purchase any additional uh, equipment, pwede mong ipaganahin muna or you can use Scilab first before you purchase any require uh, equipment for a particular project. Okay, so ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano natin uh, i-download muna yung Scilab and then install in Windows 10. So very simple lang naman. So, pupunta lang tayo dun sa official website ng Scilab, which is www.scilab.org. Okay. Once nandito na tayo sa website niya, click nyo lang yung download and then hanapin nyo yung compatible na Windows depende sa operating system nyo. May meron tayong dalawang klaseng operating system. May 64-bit and 32-bits. So, i-check nyo muna bago i-download. So, in my case, I'm using Windows 64 so I'm gonna be downloading this Scilab for 64-bit computer. So after downloading, so may kita nyo nag-download siya. Up after downloading, install. So in my case, hindi ko natatapusin because I already have downloaded in my computer. So I will cancel it. So this is actually my Scilab. Just click. Click yes. Yes. And then accept the agreement and then click next next then by default just leave it as is for the component and then the location select start menu folder or just click next and then you need to create an icon sa desktop so click next and then install it's a very straightforward installation very easy Anyone can install it. As long as you know how to read the instruction, just click next, next, and then wait for the software to be installed in your computer. So it's less than uh, two minutes lang naman yung installation yan. So in, in, in times like this, since nasa online learning lahat ng universities and colleges, Dapat ang teacher meron tayong option na pwede natin gamitin in order to be more, uh, we can implement the technology in our online teaching, especially if you are teaching mathematics and engineering subjects. Scilab is very good simulator. And you can also verify your, verify your, your uh, mathematical uh, solution using Scilab from complex uh, mathematics down to the simplest mathematics. And then after this installation, I'm going to make a video again how to use this Scilab. First, of course, as a, as a, as a programmable uh, scientific calculator, 
and then later on we will use this i'm going to show you dun sa mga advanced mathematical equations kung paano natin gagamitin ito and of course a data visualization ang scilab is uh, capable of plotting a graph you can easily uh, show to your students or interpret the graph convert your mathematical equation into a graph and then you can easily interpret the graph based on the given data and of course in the in the statistics as well it's very important to show to the students the equivalent uh, graph because manually it's very difficult to show to the students the graph they have to manually solve the equation find the value of x and y and then find the domain before they can plot the curve the equivalent curve or graph of the particular equation but in scilab all you have to do is just type the command plot and then the corresponding uh, x and y value okay so finish So let's open it. And so this is the interface of the Scilab. After the installation, open it. This is now the interface of the Scilab. This is what we call the console area. In this console area, this is where you can input your command and then there's a lot of a menu in this software meron siyang sign note sign note is actually a text editor na pwede nyo gamit, gagamitin natin yan later on if you have a code and you want to run your code in scilab you need to use this text editor Yes, like for example, I, ha I, had, I had an example already. So just write the code here. This is the Scilab, sci uh, Scinode, sorry. This is the text editor of the Scilab. So pag niran mo yan, it's, it's very simple. You will uh, automatically after running the, the, the uh, program, and if you want to plot the equivalent curve or graph of this program, automatically it will display. Like in this case, analytic solution, numerical solution. This is an example of ordinary differential equation that shows the, disp the, the graph of analytic solution and numeric solution. And you can easily analyze the graph. And then, pwede nyo rin baguhin yung background because sometimes if you are teaching online, kailangan aware ka kung ang text mo is visible or maliit or malaki. Because ang audience mo, since you are teaching virtual, dapat uh, you can go to preference and then changing the font ito lang yun if you are using sign out or this this is the console command and the other one is the text editor which is called the sign out pag nasa console ka you can change the font of the just click the console and dito you can change the text apply and then okay so nabago yung font you can also change the color of the back of the background right now i'm using green so you can change for example you want to change it to white just click that one okay changes so this is the basic environment uh, configuration of of the scilab before you start using it 
be sure you can uh, make the console the console uh, window visible to your audience or your student by simply adjusting the size of the of the font and then changing the, the style of the font by simply going to Scilab preference and then from here you can change the color the background of console and sign notes and then you can make it bold or italic it depends on your preference and then just click apply and then okay so th that is simple as that so after the installation do some uh, changes using uh, uh, preference sign up preference and then you're good to go so That's all for this uh, video, installation of Scilab and uh, changing the environment and interface of the Scilab. In my next video, I'm going to show you how we can use Scilab as a calculator, how we can use it in uh, basic and advanced uh, mathematics, and then how, how Scilab uh, can be able to grab a particular equation. So thank you so much to all of you. Sana na makatulong yung video ito sa inyong online teaching. And please don't forget, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell para ma-update -up po kayo sa mga future videos ko na related dito sa Scilab. So, thank you so much guys.